Good morning and Happy New Year to you all. Today is the second Sunday after Christmas and today we celebrate Epiphany. Epiphany is also known as a celebration of the three wise men or the Magi. It's a celebration of the wise men arriving at baby Jesus and proclaiming him to be the savior. And so today I wanna to share with you a story. It's an old folk tale, an Italian folk tale, and I think that it has a really good message. So settle back and listen to this story. The Legend of Old Bethana, written by Tomé de Pola. In a small house on the outskirts of a small village in Italy lived old Bafana. She lived all alone, and she wasn't very friendly. If any people dared to knock at her door, she never asked them in. I have no time for visiting, old Bafana would say. The children didn't like her either. Cranky old lady, they said, and the way she is always sweeping. That was true. Every day, every morning and afternoon, old Bafana would sweep with her broom. She swept her little house. She swept her front step. She even swept her walk all the way down to the road. Sometimes a delicious smell of things baking would drift from old Bafana's house. Whom does she bake for, the neighbors would ask. And some nights they thought they heard her singing lullabies. Crazy old Bafana, everybody called her. One evening, after old Bafana had eaten her dinner and swept her kitchen clean, she began to get ready for bed. She locked the door and shuttered the windows. Then she climbed into bed, blew out the lamp, and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, old Bafana woke up. The room was bright. How can that be, she asked. My lamp is out, my windows are shuttered, but still my house is filled with light. She got out of bed and crossed the cold floor. When she opened the shutter, a sudden burst of light poured into the room. In the eastern sky, she saw a brilliant star, which seemed to grow before her eyes. Hum, said old Bafana, closing the shutter tightly as she could. How am I ever to get my sleep when the dark has turned to day? All night she tossed and turned. She didn't sleep a wink. At dawn, old Bafana got up and dressed. She ate her breakfast, then took her broom as she always did every day, morning and afternoon. She swept her little house. She swept her front step. She even swept the walk all the way down to the road. When she neared the road, old Bafana stopped and listened. She heard bells tinkling. It's probably just the wind, she said. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Again, she heard the bells. It's probably just the birds singing. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Once more, she heard the sound. My old ears play tricks, she said. Sweep, sweep. Suddenly, over the hill came the most glorious procession old Bafana had ever seen. Camels, horses, elephants, and people. A splendid sight. Halfway back rode three royal-looking men dressed in jeweled robes, wearing crowns upon their heads. The procession stopped. The three kings got down and came to a frowning old Bafana. Please, said one of the kings in a royal voice, is this the way to Bethlehem? How can I say, said old Bafana, I never heard of it. And she began to sweep. We are searching for the child, said the second king. Do you know of him? There are many children, said old Bafana, sweeping still. But this one is a king, said the third. I know nothing of royal matters, she said. Our books have told us, said the kings, that when a bright new star appears, the child king will be born in Bethlehem. The star I have seen, said Obafana, it kept me awake at night. Now, if you will excuse me, I have work to do. Procession started up again. Old woman called the boy who was leading a camel by. You should come with us. This child, the baby king, has come to change the world. He comes for us. He comes for the poor. We are bringing him gifts. Old Bafana paused. She watched the procession wind down the road. A child king, she muttered, Bethlehem, sweep, 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 coming to change the world, coming for the poor. Well, heaven knows old Bafana is poor, sweep, sweep, gifts, only a child. Old Bafana went back into her house. Perhaps I should go see him, but what do I have to take him? 
She put down her broom. She got out some butter and sugar and flour. She blew on the fire and added some wood, and she began to sing. She baked all day. She didn't even sweep. It was almost dark when she finished. Then she filled a basket with all the cakes, cookies, and candies that she had made. I'll take a few coals and a little pot to keep the cookies warm, she said. She put on a shawl and opened the door, and I'll take along my broom to sweep the room clean for the baby king's mother will be tired. Old Bafana stopped. She hadn't swept all day. It won't take me long, she said. She put down the basket and began to sweep. She swept her little house, she swept her front step, and she even swept her walk all the way down to the road. Then she locked her door and gathered up her basket. She pulled her shawl around her and took up her broom. Old Bafana was on her way at last. She ran at first, ran and ran as fast as her legs would carry her. The sun had set, but she still ran. Now the stars shone brightly. Her breath came short, her old legs ached, but still she ran a little bit slower. At last she sat beside the road. Old Bafana could run no more. I should have left earlier. I'll never catch up, she cried, and where is Bethlehem? She closed her eyes and gave a long sigh. I'll never find the baby king. We're going to stop here in the book, but I will tell you how it ends. So what can we learn from this story? I wonder, as we wondered a couple weeks ago, if we were there at the time of Jesus' birth, would we have noticed that star in the sky? Would we have known that it meant something special? And if so, if the wise men came past our door, would we have joined them or would we have been too busy? In this beginning of the new year, we are excited to push the old year behind us and to set forth on new beginnings. And today we are reminded of the words from scripture, arise, shine, for your light has come. And so we have to remember that this means not to sit and bask in the glow of God's light, but to take that light and to rise up and to take it with you wherever you go. The story, I didn't read you the whole story, um, but in the end, the folk tale is that the old lady never found the baby Jesus. And so she spent her nights Every Epiphany Day, um, she travels to the homes of all the children in Italy and leaves them gifts, and she sweeps their rooms. That's pretty cool, right? Um, so she didn't just give up. She is continually searching to this day on how to bless people. And so I pray that in this new year, you remember to arise, shine, for your light has come. Don't put off till tomorrow what God wants you to do today. I hope that all of you will join us this afternoon, um, Sunday, January 3rd, at the church parking lot. Anytime between 3 and 5, come by. And we have got some blessings in store for you. We ask that you bring a canned good uh, for the Family Life Center. And you're going to get some prayers. You're going to get some things to take home and do. You're going to get some soup and some ham salad and some bread to bless your body and your soul. And then hopefully you will then be able to take blessings and pass them on to others in this new year. We all pray with me. God, as this season is coming to an end, we thank you. We thank you for the time of waiting, the time of watching. And now, God, we are excited for this time of going. God, shine your light on us and inspire us to arise and to go where you will lead us in this coming new year. In your name we pray. Amen. We also have a chance, if you didn't get one mailed to you already, uh, to pick up a star word. We did this last year, and it's just a word that can give you an intention for the next year. My word for 2020 was accept. And I'm tired of accepting things. I'm ready for a new intention word, so I'm excited to see what my word will be for this year. 
So if you should have got one if you got a bulletin mailed to you. Um, if not, when you come by the church on Sunday between 3 to 5, we will make sure to get you an intention star word for the year. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will look forward to seeing you next week.